Hey guys, right here I have a 2009 BMW 740Li. And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it. Show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. You do have welcome lights as you unlock the car. If you leave the light switch on automatic. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car and pressing and hold on the lock button, the side mirrors automatically folds in. And upon unlocking, the side mirrors automatically folds out again. Also, if you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously, as well as open up the sunroof. And to close all of them back together, just press and hold on the lock button. The 740Li does come standard with BMW's Comfort Access, which is basically BMW's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. Press the ribbed area on any of the four door handles to lock the car. Long press the ribbed area to fold the side mirrors in. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the four door handles. This car also does have vacuum doors, which basically closes the door for you if you fail to close them in full. And the doors also do have this mechanism within the door frame that allows you to set the door at any angle that you want. A push button start system is standard on the F027 series. So to start, make sure the key fob is inside the car, put your foot on the brake, and press the start button to the left of the steering wheel. The F027 series uses an electric rack and pinion power steering system. A leather wrapped steering wheel is present on the 740Li in Malaysia. For the pre facelift F02740Li, a 6 speed automatic transmission is standard. This transmission does have sport mode and steptronic manual shifting capabilities. Front and rear parking sensors, together with a reverse camera with guidance signs, are standard as well. To the left of the reverse camera display, you can turn the camera on or off, adjust the brightness and contrast of the display, and turn on or off the guidance lines and obstacle markings. The row of buttons to the right of the gear lever performs various functions. The bottom two buttons brings up the parking sensors and the front split view camera system. The buttons in the middle control the dynamic driving control driving modes, where drivers can select between Comfort, Normal, Sport and Sport Plus. Comfort tunes the car for a more comfortable ride, Normal is the default setting, while Sport and Sport Plus provides drivers with a more engaging drive, the only difference between the two is that the latter turns off the driving aids. The topmost button, press it once to activate the Dynamic Traction Control System, and press it longer to deactivate the Dynamic Stability Control System. Safety features on the 740Li includes Six airbags, interlock braking system, with electronic brake force, distribution and brake assist, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, cornering brake control, adaptive brake lights, a tire pressure monitoring system, a night vision system, an alarm system with immobilizer, 
and isofix child seat anchor points for the rear seats. Now, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. The 740LI in Malaysia comes with the 19-inch, multi-spoke style 235 light alloy rims. The rims on this car are wrapped in Pirelli P0 run flat tyres that measure 245-45R19 in front and 275-40R19 at the back. Ventilated disc brakes are present all around and the suspension gets double wishbones in front and a multi-link rear setup. The F01 to F04 code names represents BMW's 5th generation 7 series lineup. F01 is the short wheelbase model, F02 is the long wheelbase model, F03 is the high security model, and F04 is the active hybrid model. When compared to the 4th generation 7 series that was produced between 2001 and 2008, the 5th generation model has a more mundane and grown up look. However, when talking about advancements in technology, the 5th generation model is definitely more superior than its predecessor. The 5th generation 7 series first made its debut in 2008 with the facelift appearing in 2012 for the 2013 model year. In 2015, the range was succeeded by the 6th generation 7 series. Powering this 740LI is BMW's N54 B30 3.0L, dual overhead cams, 24 valves, twin turbocharged inline 6 petrol engine with double Venos variable camshaft control and high precision injection. This engine produces 322 horsepower at 5800 rpm and 450 Nm of torque between 1500 and 4500 rpm. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 6 seconds and the top speed is 250 km per hour. 80 litres is the fuel tank capacity, and the combined fuel consumption for the 740LI automatic is 10 litres per 100 kilometres. 235 grams of carbon dioxide is emitted per kilometre, and the 7 series is a rear wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the 740LI includes automatic auto-leveling adaptive by Xenon projector headlights, automatic wipers, automatic high beams, cornering lights, headlight washer system, daytime running lights, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, LED front and rear indicators, front and rear fog lights, front and rear parking sensors, indicators on the front fenders, body colored side mirrors, body colored door handles with chrome highlights, and dual exhaust pipes. You do have a storage bin down there together with your speaker right there. Right here you do have your mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. And right here you do have your window lock as well as your rear sunshade control. The driver's seat in this 740LI does get full powered adjustments. With all of the controls located right down there, you do have 4-way power lumbar support, thigh support and side bolstering support as well. You also do have two-person memory seating adjusted using those buttons right there. If you hit this button, you can use the driver's seat controls 
to control the front passenger seat. To the right of the headlight switch, you do have the lever to adjust the brightness of the interior at night. And this button right here allows you to activate the night vision system. Down below, you do have a bit of storage. Right there, you do have the button to operate the powered boot lid. And you do have BMW door sills for the front. Alright. So let's go ahead and see how she revs. The 740LI in Malaysia does come standard with a quad zone automatic climate control system. All of your front controls are located right here. You do have a separate set of controls for the rear which I'll show you later. But back to the front controls, you do have your individual fan speed, temperature, automatic mode and different modes for the driver's side and the front passenger side. But apart from that, you also do have your front and rear defrost, maximum air conditioning, air conditioning, recirculation or automatic recirculation buttons. And you do have three stage heated and cooled seats for the driver. And the front passenger. Now this all button right here means if you have it turned on, the driver's side will control all of the controllable settings. But if you turn it off, each side will have their individual controls. Right down here, you do have a couple of cup holders. You can cover it up if you do not want it exposed. And behind this cover, you do have a bit of storage as well as a power outlet or a cigarette lighter depending on what you use it for. Right below the hazard light switch, you do have your central locking button. The 740LI comes with the Navigation System Professional Head Unit that has a 10.2 inch color display, various media connectivity options, hard disk drive based navigation, and the professional hi fi system with 16 speakers producing 600 watts of power. Now, the display right above is controlled using your set of controls located down the center console to the left of the gear lever. You do have the knob that scrolls to the left, scrolls to the right, goes left, right, up, down, and clicks down for enter. 
You also do have your back and option buttons and right ahead of the knob, you do have your CD, radio, menu, telephone and navigation shortcut buttons. Now, back to the display, let's start with the menu that's right above and that is CD Multimedia. Right here, you can access your external devices menu with your USB and auxiliary inputs. But apart from that, you can also access your music collection. Basically, this car has a hard drive. I'm not too sure of the exact capacity, but you can store your music on the car's hard drive so you do not need to bring your music player around all the time. You can also access your CD DVD menu, your TV menu, and undertone. You can set your bass treble, balance and fader, your equalizer settings, and your surround sound settings. You can also set your various volume settings and reset the system back to factory settings. Now to go back, hit the back button or click the knob to the left once. Now, under the external devices menu or whatever menu you are in, if you click the knob to the right, you can actually bring up a list of options where you can enter your split screen menu, switch off the display, show the external devices on the owner's handbook, and your various other CD multimedia options. Now to go back to the main menu, we can always click the knob to the left until we reach the main menu, or we can click the menu button straight away. Next up, we do have radio. Under radio, we can access your FM AM menus. Under those menus, you can look at your list of available radio stations in the area, perform a manual tuning search and all that. Under telephone, we can obviously activate Bluetooth. We can also dial a number, look at your calls, look at your phone book and whatnot. Under navigation, this is the maps. To the left, we do have a list of options where you can zoom in and out, change your map views, enter your interactive map, points of interest, route criteria, spoken instructions, and your guidance. Now, back to the map. Once this part is highlighted, we can actually use the knob to zoom in and out. And right here, if we click the knob to the left twice while in the maps, we can bring up your navigation menu where you can enter destination, look at your address book, last destinations, points of interest, and all that. Under contacts, we can store the home address and store other um, contact information and addresses. Under BMW services, you do have your mobile care number, hotline number, and your service center number. Next up, vehicle information. Right here, the top three menus, quick reference, search by pictures and owner's handbook allows you to search the information regarding the car on the system itself rather than through the actual owner's handbook in the form of a book that BMW supplies you when you buy the car. Quick reference allows you to search via the different most used parts of the car. Search by pictures via the different parts of the car. And owner's handbook allows you to spell out that particular search option. Under onboard computer, you do have your range, average consumption and average speed. If you do have your navigation system active, it will also tell you your distance to destination and estimated time of arrival. And under journey computer, you can reset the values in this menu every time you go on say a road trip and you, it will tell you your departure time, um, elapsed time, distance traveled, average consumption and average speed. And lastly, your vehicle status with your flat tire monitoring system, oil level, service indicator, and your check control. Check control basically tells you whether there is anything wrong with the car. And lastly, your settings menu, where you can change your rear controller settings, profile, snow chain, sport mode, locks, lights, and all that. You can even set your language, units, time and date, and your display settings. And that's about it. Back to the controls down here, you do have your volume and power knob. Your mode button allows you to select your different media options. You do have your FM AM button right here as well. And you do have your eight shortcut buttons, which allow you to program, say, your favorite contact, your favorite navigation address, your favorite radio station, and whatnot. Right above, you do have your CD DVD player eject button for the display itself. And you do have your C crack buttons right here. As shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold them in from the inside, press this button right here.
On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your cruise control, while the right spoke houses your audio controls with your volume, your different media selection button. This is for your seat track function. You do have your on-hook, off-hook button right here and your voice control button. On the right stalk, you do have your wiper controls. If you locate the button at the end of the wiper stalk, press it and you activate your automatic wipers. On the left stalk, you do have your indicator controls. If you locate the buttons at the end of the indicator stalk, the top one allows you to go through your um, onboard computer within the instrument cluster. Right now, you do have your range, date, turning the display off and back to your range. And down below, hitting this button activates your automatic high beams. The steering wheel in this car is powered, tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Right here you do have the F02's electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. You also do have an auto hold function for the parking brake whereby if activated, you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or a traffic jam, the car is in drive, you lift your foot off the brake with the auto hold function, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. Front center armrest with storage down below. You do have another power outlet right in here together with your auxiliary and USB ports. Auto dimming, rear view mirror, and you do have your interior lights right above. You do have your sunroof controls right here. You can also open up the sunroof as a vent. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and a light. And the driver does get a grip handle. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of the tour. You do have quite a large storage bin down there together with your speaker right here. And right here, you do have your window control. These set of buttons right here. This one controls the sunshade for the right door. This one controls the sunshades for the left door. And this one controls your rear sunshade. You also do have a bit of storage right here. It also doubles up as an ashtray depending on what you use it for. Down below, you do have your two-person memory seating for the right side at the back and this one activates your massage seat. BMW door sills for the back as well. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. This being the long wheelbase 7 series, I do get quite a lot of leg room, as you can see. Headroom is not that great, I only get about this much, but at least the seats are still nice and comfortable. You do get storage pockets on the front seat backs, rear entertainment displays, 
rear aircon vents in the middle, on the B pillars, and right above. And right down here, you do have your aforementioned rear climate control system. You do have the temperature for the right, temperature for the left, automatic mode, fan speed, different modes, maximum air conditioning, and three stage heated and cooled seats for either sides. Down below, you do have your entertainment controls, as well as two power outlets or cigarette lighters, again, depending on what you use it for. You do have a bit of storage right here. And you do have a rear center armrest to storage down below. This is the remote for your rear entertainment system. Storage right here. And you do have your seat controls for the right. And on the other side, you do have the seat controls for the left. And in front, you do have a couple of cup holders. Right above, aircon fan, but you also do have your temperature and fan speed controls. Right here, rear vanity mirror with lights. Your rear interior lights right above. And the same set of um, controls for the left side. Also on both sides, you do have grip handles with hooks. Again. On both sides, you do have hooks on the B pillars. There are three ways to operate the standard powered boot lid in the 7 series. The first way is via the button on the key fob. The second way is via the button inside the cabin that I showed you earlier on. And the third and final way is via a touchpad right beneath the BMW badge on the boot lid itself. Boot space in the F02 measures 500 liters. However, when the optional extended rear air conditioning package has been specified like on this car, boot space does reduce to accommodate the extra compressor. You can find storage areas on either sides of the boot and under the boot floor. You do have adjustable headrests, front and rear.
You do have your storage bin down below with your speaker right there and your window control right there. Like the driver's side, the front passenger seat does get full powered adjustments with your two-person memory seating right there. And again, like your driver's seat, all of the seat controls are located down there. You do have a storage pocket to the right of the front passenger footwell. Right here, you do have your CD DVD changer. And down below, you do have a lockable glove box. It is of a nice size. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a light as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2009 BMW 740 Li. Thanks for watching and goodbye.